Okay guys, get this. For the last seven months, I have been letting myself get bothered, annoyed, distressed, anxious, sad, over a man. A man, and for what? For what? What did I get out of it? Besides stress, anxious, vibes, annoyance, like, I don't know why I always do this to myself, like every couple years, where I like let myself be around a toxic guy thinking, oh, he loves me. Girl, he don't love you. Girl. And then like not even being with them and being single, but still texting them or like letting them into my house. Like, why are you doing that? You, you're single, you guys are done. Why are you texting him? Why are you letting him in your house? I'm so stupid and it keeps my attachment and like uh, the connection of being around that person for so long because I just let it happen over and over and over again and like I stick up for myself but not enough to where I like cut it out man I need to cut them out but I never do and I just be like oh like and that's just not that's not what we're doing. There's only four months left of the year. And this is it. this is what I'm doing with my time. Oh, no, no, no. We are changing things around this fall. It's fall. The leaves are falling on the ground. Just like my feelings for you. New single out if you haven't heard my new song. <laughs> you want to know what these breakouts and like the actual rashes stress oh stress and what do you think was fucking stressing me yo for six fucking months my ex-boyfriend girl why are you talking to him he's your ex you broke up six months ago bye but i always give people chances and they always just take advantage of it and be nice for a couple weeks and then they do the same thing and whenever we would fight he would get so personal and his like digs or like pettiness mm -hmm. And like if we're fighting about a situation why are you making it about me like it's not about me like i'm not mad at you as a person i'm mad about like what's going on and i feel like normal adults can understand that it's like not hard to figure out like so why are you he used to say really mean things he was, used to be like oh you're a cancer in everyone's life you're a cancer in my life and we would literally be fighting about like the air conditioner like <laughs> how does that make sense like and i would get deeply hurt and i would think about it for months i still think about it sometimes like i look at myself in the mirror and i'm like oh you're fucking cancer like i think about it a lot but i have to remember that that's just what his behavior was like it wasn't it's not about me normal people could be like fuck you like blah 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 blah. i wouldn't even care if you're like this fucking air conditioner like oh my fucking god but telling me i'm a cancer about an air conditioner like so he would get, if it was cold out, like in the weather, he would get mad at me and not tell me that that's why he was mad and act mad for like three, three or four days, days and be an asshole. And I'd be like, I don't know why you're doing this. And until I would be like on the ground crying, being like, I can't take this treatment. Like, I don't know what I did wrong. He would be like, oh, I've just been mad the last couple of days because I'm just like really cold. Like, it's just cold out. Passive aggressiveness, pettiness, blatant disrespect, ignoring, like, eating food without me. All those things happened because he was cold. Hey guys, it's my first day officially being single. And I'm going to eat some steak. Because that's the only way to truly be single. Is by eating steak. Open one of these. Just one? You only want you you You, you don't want, want one? No. What are you gonna eat for dinner? You're a steak. You can have one, but what are you gonna eat for dinner? Um, I don't know. I'll figure it out. Can you open this? My hands are buttery. It's been in my food for a while. I thought you were gonna like take a bite. I don't know why I thought that. I need to dye my hair, my roots are coming in. I'm naturally a blonde, guys. Seasoning. Seasoning. 
seasoning, seasoning, yeah. Teamwork makes the dream work. Coolio, steak, steak, wrapped in bacon. She goes, smell it. I was like, I can't smell it. I've done too much cocaine, sweetie. I have a virgin nose. A virgin non-cocaine nose. And so she says that it smells great. But I don't smell anything. I can only smell like chemicals now. Oh, we're wearing... Stick. Stick. Hearts. We're making this steak with love. If you can't tell by our shirt. It's almost done. It's getting crisp fast. Open up. Steak cooked to perfection by Rachel. Yes. I'm so happy. So I hooked up with a girl last night because rightfully so, rightfully so I deserve it. Hooked up with a girl and I should have done that a long time ago. You know, I don't know why I didn't. I broke up with him in March, but you know when you still hang out with them, like it was complicated and I didn't fuck a girl that whole time. Like Julie's back, like I'm just back on my bullshit, you know? Like, I just need to, like, you know, get the job done, you know? And, like, be happy. Hi, Tiger. You're hearing about my shenanigans? Yeah. But, yeah, I texted her, and I was like, hey, I'm really depressed. Can you sit on my face? She did. And it's funny because my ex always wanted me to do that, but I never, like... If I don't feel happy in the relationship, like, I'm not going to go out of my way to do extra things because I feel like they don't deserve it. So I never did that. And then I had someone date to me. Yep. It was, like, my equivalent of, like, I don't know, some, like, revenge thing. Sometimes I can be a dude. And I texted her and I was like, hey, I'm really depressed. Can you sit in my face? And she did. And I've hooked up with her before, so that's why it was easy to, like, get her, you know? So it all worked out in the end. I'm very happy. And I had a bacon, egg, and cheese this morning for my fa- Oh! I had a bacon, egg, and cheese this morning for my favorite diner. There's this diner down the street, and, like, I could make a bacon, egg, and cheese. It's just sometimes I don't want to. Yep. I put some hot sauce on it. I ate it with an Arizona that I just put in the fridge. Hey, do not scratch me. Like, I'm coming back. Um, I put it in the fridge because I came here and I couldn't find my sister. And I still wanted it to be cold. I'm just waiting for her. Live my life. Okay, why does Rachel literally have a vending machine in her fridge? Have a what? Vending machine. machine. <laughs> it's like so many. It looks like a little vending machine. Chicken. Are Chicken. you excited? I'm really fucking excited. Let me just put my oven. Chef Livy. Chef Rachie. Oh, wow. Wait, turn that light on. Other one. Sorry. Oh. Um, Rachel, come on. Oh. Oh. Oh, little princey. Wait, I need a video of it. Hold on. Oh, it looks so yummy. It's so good. It looks like it's going to be like creamy. And like, that's just exciting. Creamy? Yeah. Wait, what is it again? So there's, <laughs> <laughs> so there's like cream of chicken with, um, 
like nor rice um, packets, whatever. So it's just like rice and it's garlic parm. And then we put um, oh. chicken and it's just like a chicken rice creamy. Okay. Hold on, I gotta send baby a video. Yay. No fast food for us. We've been doing really good. I mean, I've had a couple of burritos, but. Oh, I had Taco Bell. Wait. Like, the other I woke up this morning kind of sad, extremely sad, but whatever. There's nothing I can do. I would rather be sad and go through a, like the breakup again or like the blocking again and like go through weeks of like sadness than continue months and months talking to an ex and feeling pain and pain and pain and like just awfulness i would rather go through this period of like feeling like this and then just get it over with and then you know not have any more opportunity hi 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 the tickle monster is coming i just don't need any more opportunity for toxicity to be continued in my life and i'm hopeful for the future i'm gonna go fuck a girl tonight i'm gonna eat a girl out and make her feel real good since no one knows how to make me feel good, I'm gonna make some other bitty feel good. And there's a part of me that still like wants to like just like hang out with him. <laughs> but nope, I'm gonna be in some pussy. I just need like a good woman. Cause like they're so understanding, you know? And if they're going through stuff, I can be like, hey, let me help you if you help me, you know? We'll be good for each other. We like really need to be distracted right now. <laughs> really quickly, I want to tell you guys about what I've been using this time around for my eczema. So last year I was using all these like creams and topical stuff and steroids that my doctor gave me. And just overall, it like wasn't working for me because I found out I had TSW, which is topical steroid withdrawal. So every time I was using the steroids, like the steroid creams, my skin was getting worse because it was like addicted to it. So this time around, I've been trying to go more natural, some stuff over the counter, but um, aloe, aloe. I've been using aloe, I have this aloe plant, oh, excuse me, at my house. Oh my God, I just feel like it's been helping so much and I'm not as like inflamed. Like, the eczema is still there, but it's not so, like, itchy and, like, driving me crazy. And it's just leaving me less red and, like, I don't know. I probably look the same in every single one of my clips for my video or my vlogs. But people who are around me and me, I've noticed a huge difference. And it's not as itchy. So, I'm pretty fucking happy. You can't even see. But yeah, I've been feeling myself. I know I still look like a monster, but we're getting there, guys. We're getting there.